Okay, for our second rule then is uh, we're going to use commas again, and for this one, we're going to place a comma after a transitional phrase. Uh, the two examples on the site today is during class today. Here's our transitional phrase, and here's our comma. Many students brought their journals. Commas serve the function as being pauses. So specifically in this case, when you read this out loud, it should be during class today, pause, many students brought their journals. Example two then is, on the other hand, comma, some students needed their journals. With that said, when you read these things out loud, there should definitely be a pause where those commas are. The other thing that we need to address to at this point is um, transitional phrases are descriptive phrases. They're important phrases for the meanings of sentences because they're going to either do in the first sentence, they're going to show us where we were when that took place. So this modifies during class today, modifies when the students brought their journal. One of the rules about modifying phrases you will be tested on on the SAT uh, has to do with if you have a modifying phrase like during class today, on the other side of the comma is where the object that it's modifying is taking place. On the SAT, they'll do this. They'll put a very long modifying phrase to start a sentence, comma, and then what's on the other side of the comma won't be the thing that's being modified. For our uh, sake today, we're going to focus on transitional phrases. Well, this tells us where we were when the students did it. And then the other part that transitional phrases uh, satisfy for us then are uh, the relationship between the previous sentence and what's going to happen in this particular sentence. So the first sentence talked about many students brought their journals. Contrastingly, on the other hand, comma, some students needed their journals. In the course of this week or perhaps next, I intend to give you a lesson on language conventions with regard to transitional phrases. I believe that transitional phrases are the number one way you could instantly um, improve your writing by having better transitional phrases. And so that's something that we're going to focus on. Obviously, then, for example number three, I'm going to want you to probably do what? Write your own. Good. So I'm going to have you do that. I'll leave this up and we will uh, pause the recording while you do it.